Coming up on Hands On Apple, let's take a look at a very special, very cool feature on Apple TV that can let you balance your colors. Stay tuned. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Welcome back to Hands On Apple. I'm Micah Sargent, and today we are taking a look at the Apple TV. There's a really nifty feature on the Apple TV that helps you to sort of adjust the color on the television based on visual information sent to your iPhone. It's a really neat feature that I think a lot of people miss when it comes to setting up their Apple TV and properly adjusting the colors. So let's take a look. Uh, with this, I have to do it all physically as opposed to showing you the Apple TV screen because that won't provide the right <clears throat> information that you need for how this works. So I actually have ooh, right here a display for my Apple TV. And as you can see, we've got that open. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do with this is go to the settings menu and then go down to video and audio. In the video and audio settings, you'd think it'd be in the video part, but it's not. It's underneath the third section here, calibration. And the section is color balance. When you click on this, it says to adjust the color balance, Apple TV will measure and adjust your television's color balance. For best results, avoid bright or highly saturated picture modes like vivid, dynamic, or sports. So you're going to want to set it to the default uh, color mode for your television. And then after the fact, after you've done this adjustment, then make that change. Then it says you'll need your iPhone with Face ID and iOS 14.5 or later. Bring it close to your television and tap the notification. So I'm going to set this down. So I'm going to move my iPhone, which is unlocked, close to my Apple TV, and up will pop a notification that says, you can use your iPhone to measure your television's color. Continue or not now. I will choose continue. Then it says it's preparing. Hold your iPhone close to your television to begin the measurement. So the television is preparing. And oh, what do we have here? A code. So I will type that code in on my phone to authenticate. And now... I turn my iPhone around so the front-facing camera points at the television in the device outline. So I'm literally going to take my phone and put it on the screen where it goes. And then I feel a vibration on my phone, and it is currently measuring. It's using this Face ID camera, and it's measuring the display right now. And it's going through the process. You can see the uh, sort of progress bar, a uh, pie chart rather. And now it says, oh, measuring again. So that was step one. Now it's measuring with step two. And whenever you're doing this, you don't want to press too hard, especially if like this, it's an LCD display that is matte and therefore doesn't have like a piece of glass over the top of it. So pressing on it can slightly affect the color on the screen. And so now we're doing that secondary measurement. And we're nearly there. And done. It says color balance complete. From there, we can choose view results on the television. And now it's going to be difficult for you to see, but there is, there are two options. Use original and use balanced. And as you might imagine, we will choose Use Balanced. Once you've done that, the setting in the Apple TV will say Balanced, and at any time you can go in and make that change. One important thing to note, in order to do this, the, or the, the iPhone that you have needs to be set up with the Apple TV. So if you've yet to do that, you can start that process by launching the remote app on your iPhone through Control Center and get that going. But once you've done that, it calibrates the Apple TV's color based on your television's actual 
sort of makeup. I think it's a fantastic way. And it's sad I'm not able to use it in my uh, living room setup because I've got a projector. <laughs> and so the the Apple TV, or rather the, the phone, of course, if I were to put it over the top, will not see anything on the screen because it's the, the projector is behind it. So it doesn't work for for that, but any other kind of uh, television, you should be able to use this to properly balance your color. Very cool feature. Let me know how it goes for you. Looking forward to hearing all about it. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of Hands on Apple. I'll be back again next week with another episode, so stay tuned. Bye bye. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twit, your tech hub for intelligent, thoughtful conversations. If you want to take your experience to the next level and support what we do here at Twit, say goodbye to ads and say hello to Club Twit. With Club Twit, you unlock all our shows ad-free. You also get exclusive members-only content. We do a lot of great programming just for the club members. You also get behind-the-scenes access with our Twit Plus bonus feed and live video streams while we're recording. And don't forget the fantastic members-only Discord. It's where passionate tech fans like you and me hang out, swap ideas, and connect directly with all of our hosts. It's my favorite social network. I think you'll like it too. Club Twit. It's not just a subscription. It's how you support what we do and become part of the Twit family. Your membership directly supports the network, helping us stay independent and keep making the shows you love. If you're ready to upgrade your tech podcast experience, head to twit.tv slash club twit and join us today. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the club. <laughs>